All right, welcome back. So now that you have downloaded Ninja Trader and you have an account set up, maybe, maybe you're still in the process. Regardless, what I want to do is go through just some basic features of Ninja Trader. There's a ton of videos. If you go to help, you can find anything you're looking for. Um, you can go to Ninja Trader's website. They have all kinds of tutorials, but Honestly, there's only a handful of things that you need to know, so I thought I would do that here. So let's uh, let's go through and first let's get our in instruments set up. So we what we need to do is we need to go to tools, we need to go to instrument list, and you're gonna have a handful of options in here. And so we'll look at forex and we'll look at futures for now. So if we go to Forex, here are the here are all the instruments that I have in here. If you want to add, so these are I think in here just by default. However, this you're not limited to just these symbols. So you can go to add and we can add any any pair that we want. So let's add in the dollar pound so you just type it in and hit return and there it is so you don't need to worry about editing there's nothing to edit when it comes to forex however if we go over to futures futures these these are some symbols here that I have either looked at or I have traded some of them are out of date like the this is the um, the British pound so the the pound dollar futures I don't trade this but I do have it in here I haven't looked at it for many months and so it's a, the the date is wrong so let me let me show you if you if you trade futures what happens with futures is the contracts expire some of them are quarterly some of them are monthly the currency futures expire on a quarterly basis. So once every three months, you'll have to come in here and you'll have to edit the contract. If you trade oil, this is oil. This one expires monthly. You'll have to do this every month. This is the S&P 500. It does quarterly. So let me show you, let's go into the pound dollar and let me show you how to update the contract month. So you're just going to, again, you'll just come into this area, you'll click on the instrument, you'll go to edit, and you'll see the most recent month already pops up in here. So this is the current month that the contract is on. So you said OK, and you can see that updates. We can do the same thing with the euro dollar, and we hit update. And then you hit OK, and that's all you have to do for your instruments. Now, again, for Forex, you don't have to worry about doing that here because they don't expire. Now, you can set up new lists if you want, and I'll, we'll, we'll get into where that applies later. You only need this once you get to the point where you're adding symbols for the market analyzer, which is the stock scanner tool. All right, that's all for setting up your instruments. In the next video, we're going to cover how to set up a chart.